Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Red Alert Sunday, NFL. We are going for the trifecta today here on Team Benny. Ghost Picks Benny. Red Alert action, 1 p.m. Eastern time. A lot going on. A lot going on. Everybody changed their clocks back. Going to be getting really dark early now. NFL Sunday. Going for the trifecta on the Red Alert. Going for back to back to back. Red Alert wins. Going for the third Red Alert win in the last three Sundays. Benny here. GhostPixATS.com, the number one sports consultant in the business Sunday, November 1st. And we're we're rolling. We're, 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 we're cruising right now. We're cruising right now. Another 1 p.m. game today for the Red Alert. Another 1 p.m. Game, game today for the Red Alert. Uh, Red Alert package is listed in the description of this video. It's $49.99. It's one big play. We do not take it lightly. One big play. I don't take it lightly. If I don't like it anything, I'm not going to run one. But we're going for back to back to back. And the momentum is on our side right now. The momentum is on my side right now. One big play. One big bet. Looking to capitalize on another one in the NFL. Two weeks ago was the Steelers. Last week was the Packers. This week we shall see. But we are going for three. We are going for three. We are going for the trifecta on the red alert. The pumpkin man is in the building. Happy Halloween again, everybody. And today, today is all about that red alert play. I have my other plays ready for Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day is $19.99. You get all my plays. But today is about the red alert play. We crushed with the Packers last week. We crushed with the Steelers two weeks ago. I'm looking to hammer down one big bet one more time today on Sunday. Go for that trifecta. Um, yeah, yesterday I crushed. Yesterday I crushed. Four in one day. Again, we're staying rolling. We're staying rolling. We rolled right through October. We're going to roll right through November. Uh, crushed yesterday. Four and one on the day card. I, I lost the UFC yesterday. That was my blip. I lost the UFC yesterday. One and three in UFC. Hey, it happens. It definitely happens. It definitely happens. There's no, I'm not going to make excuse. I lost. I lost the UFC yesterday. It wasn't good. So uh, Philly killed me. Philly. Uh, Bobby Green killed me in my parlay. So I dropped my parlay. And then uh, uh, Greats Mocker Hernandez over two and a half. Loss. Loss. I was certainly off there in the UFC. I hit on uh, Bobby Witt uh, in the UFC. Or uh, hit on Witt, yeah, Witt in the UFC. I lost in the parlay. I only went one or two of uh, the uh, fight picks and I lost the parlay. Day card, I hammered. Four and one on the day card. Like, absolutely smashed it. Chelsea, minus one, winner. Nashville, Chicago, under two and a half, winner in uh, MLS. Went two and zero again in soccer yesterday. So and then college football smashed it. Virginia UNC over sixty two was a winner. Oklahoma Texas Tech over sixty six and a half winner. The only play I lost, only premium play I lost yesterday was on Clemson minus twenty four and a half, and that was it. That was it. That wraps up my Saturday. Uh, free play, free play. Too many points. Appalachian State. Too many points. Son of a gun of a gun of a gun. I I said it in my video. If I'm if I'm laying 31, I'm expecting the game to be a blowout. App State puts up 30. They only put up 31 points. They're not going to win by 31 if they only put up 31. You know, 31-13 ball game. So that's that's on me. That's on me. That's my bad there. Uh, yeah. Wraps up my Saturday. Look, by no means am I trying to dismiss the UFC or any of that. I, I own losing the, the, the losing UFC 100%. But if you look at what I have been doing this past week in football and in soccer, and if you, if you look what I've been doing the past three weeks in football and in soccer, we are killing it. I am killing it. We are killing it. If you've been rocking with me, you're killing it. And UFC has been good. Except for yesterday. So today, you know, we, we roll right past it. Like I said, shit happens. We roll right past it. Today, we have the red alert. We're already on to today. It's the red alert. If you're new to my page, welcome. Hop on down and subscribe. Give your boy Benny a subscribe. Tap the bell right next to me. Get my videos as soon as they pop up. And then follow me along over on Twitter as well, at Benny Bistro. If you're new, the 
Red alert plays are our biggest plays. It's one big bet, one big play. We take, you know, one game and we decide to shell out. We decide to put extra money on that one game and we look for the, the big cash. This is where we look for the big cash. The play comes at a cost. It's $49.99. It's listed in the description of this video. You purchase the play. You immediately get the play. You get the write-up as to why I am taking the play. And you get access to the Ben Dog for the day. So, what could be better than that, right? Whew. Anyway, uh, you get a good little mind to the Ben Dog. So, uh, yeah, I believe we have another winner today. I could feel it in me plums. I could feel it in me plums. It's what week eight NFL action. We uh, 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 what we got? What we got in the NFL? What do we got in the NFL this week? We got, we got Tua starting this week. We got Tua Tagovailoa again in his first start this week. So now we had the, the 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 big three: Herbert, Burrow, Tua. They will all have made their NFL debuts, and we'll see what happens. I guess that would be the big story in the NFL this week. We'll be talking about that later in the live feed. Let's get a free play right now. 8.20 p.m. Eastern Time, Dallas Cowboys at the Philadelphia Eagles. Free play of the day. Cowboys, Eagles over 42 and a half. Uh, I'm not taking a winner here. The Eagles continue to burn me. The N I think the Eagles should win. I do. I do, I do, I do, I do. I think the Eagles should win. I think the Eagles should cover, but I'm not doing it. I'm not taking it. They continue to burn me. The NFC East continues to be awful. This is not the same as years past where we see Eagles, Cowboys under the night lights on Sunday night, the Sunday night lights, just to see these two teams, but you know, we see these two teams battle back and forth. It's no longer that. It's no longer that. As a matter of fact, these teams are really struggling to score, struggling to defend, playing absolute ugly football. Some of the ugliest football I have seen in a long time coming out of the NFC East this year. And and, and for what? And for what? Like, uh, Dak goes down. That's devastating. Dak goes down. Dallas loses Dak. They, they were actually, their offense was good with Dak. Dallas's offense was good with Dak. Dak goes down and it has just fallen apart. Their defense is no good. They're, they're, everything is falling apart. Eagles were really banged up on the offensive line. They have some key injuries out as well. And, I, and a lot of weapons are out. A lot of wide receivers are out. Deshaun Jackson cannot stay on the field. Alshon Jeffrey, where the hell is Alshon Jeffrey? Just gone. But Wentz is making it work with Fulgham and a couple of the other guys. But, you know, it's just been really bad football. It's been really bad football. Uh, I think the Eagles should be able to handle business. You know, it's Ben DiNucci time in Dallas. <laughs> ben DiNucci time, baby. No Andy Dolan out with a concussion, I guess. Ben DiNucci, seventh round pick. Maybe he's the guy. Maybe he's the next Tom Brady. I don't know. The, to, you know, this total was flip-flopping for a while. So, what, so was the line. But uh, 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 waiting to see who Dallas's QB was. But right now the total is 42 and a half. It's one of the lower totals on the entire slate. And I'm, I'm taking the over. I'm taking the over. I think Carson should be able to handle Dallas's defense for sure. Dallas is at a point where they just have to be better. They have to be better in starting today. It's not even the Danucci stuff. It's everybody has to be better. Zeke needs to be better. C.D. Lamb needs to be better. Uh, Amari Cooper needs to be better. Gallup needs to be better. The defense needs to be better. Everybody, Mike McCarthy needs to be better. They got to be better. And I just feel like kind of how we saw the Falcons uh, on Thursday, like that. I felt like the Falcons were due for that win on Thursday night. I just feel like these two teams are due, you know, or at least one of them, you know. So we're, I'm, I'm taking the over. Free play of the day. Eagles, Cowboys, over 42 and a half. Come join me for the red alert. Red alert is at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Let's go, baby. We are going for the trifecta three in a row. Back to back to back. Crack your beers. Eat your lunch. Make your breakfast. Do whatever you're doing. Make your bets. Let's place your bets. Red alert. $49.99 in the description of this video. Let's get out there and get it. As always, good luck. God bless. Grind on, baby. Cheers.